We are bouncing to Florida with no voice. It's gonna be a long week. Hopefully the voice comes back. I apologize in advance, but I've kind of had this crazy idea though, speaking about the cars, because for one, garage is already taken up. Don't show them too much. So I don't want to leak the, the progress. Don't show them too much. We have a full freaking driveway. We have Karma, Blucifer, Blue 2 Valve, Big Blue here. It's slammed. I need a warehouse really bad. I had this little wicked idea because Ramina's mom and Keith, her boyfriend, actually just packed up about a month and a half ago or two months ago, moved to Melbourne, Florida. I have my stepbrother, Brian, that just moved to Tampa, Florida. And I was kind of juggling the idea of what if I could work something out to where I could drive a car there, leave it there, fly home. And then once a month, I can just hop on a flight and uh, enjoy a little extended weekend business expense trip because that's that's what that is. It's not leisure, it's business. We gotta sneak those write-offs in when we can. All kidding aside though, that'd be a really cool thing. Having a car there, I fly in, my car's there, content in Florida. It's almost like I moved there. It's Ramina's fault, I swear. It sounds good on paper, but I know whatever car that we did leave there. Does the <laughs> bicep look pretty good here? It looks pretty good. The bicep feels pretty solid, look at that. Do you work Dude, out? I'm or? Swole. We have some really big news with Big Blue here. One that we have been looking forward to because you guys have may have seen the like little sneak peeks of the issues with the truck. It is a 2010 F-150. They are notorious for that. And I won't lie, I accidentally stepped on that. <laughs> you did. And I almost got you my ass beat. You stepped on it, you crunched <laughs> it. I thought that whole latch was gone. Big Blue's actually getting dropped off today at the shop and we're getting all the rocker panels fixed up, new rocker panels. I have never seen like anybody in around me that has gotten the rocker panels fixed. So I'm, I'm a little nervous. I'm curious to see how well it turns out, but Big Blue is getting repaired. The rust is going and that's just one less thing to worry about. So she's gonna be gone for about three weeks. God bless her soul. I'm gonna miss her. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Um, we could definitely use getting rid of a car. We have seven vehicles. I have five. It would be a really cool thing to just have like one of the cars there at all times. Fly in, drive, content, fly out, boom, home. We were gonna move there. So it'd be kind of like living there at the same time. Anyway though, we gotta get this show on the road, load up the car. We're heading to the airport right now. So if you haven't already, and this is you on the screen, subscribe to the channel because we are trying to hit what, Romina? 300,000 subscribers. We're trying to hit 300,000 subscribers on the channel. We are climbing so fast. Y'all support has been amazing. And while you're at it, 2,500 likes, man. Gotta crush it, cause he said so. We need a thousand likes for that guy. We need a thousand likes for that guy. We need a thousand likes for it. Huh? Do not, we're not gonna go there. It is a Chevy, We're that fan base is wicked. We gotta get packed up, we're late. Our adventure begins. Yep. VIP shuttle service. Hey, yo, chat, look at this little shoddy. Hey, yo, little mama. So Ramina likes to play this game in the airport where I embarrass her, and all it takes is a, um... <laughs> Don't do it. Did you smell that? Oh my God, did you fart? Did you fart? I am not. <laughs> I'm at TSA pre-check, and I was gonna wait for you, but I think now I'm just gonna leave you on the desk. I have TSA pre-check too. No, you don't. You wanna bet? You don't. Put money on it. You don't have TSA pre-check. Good thing that was a left-handed shake. If you walk through that pre-TSA, I swear to you, I'm gonna make that a line's scene. Kind of, that line's getting kind of long over there. My line is empty. Anybody smell that? <clears throat> what are you doing? Well, we just dropped Monday's video. If you guys didn't catch it, go watch it. When I drop at eight o'clock, I dedicate like an hour. It's literally the perfect time because no joke, I go through everybody's comments and try to keep up with them. I just appreciate y'all tapping in as soon as I drop with the notification squad. So thank y'all for that. Gotta get back to replying to comments. <laughs> oh, that thing is great. <laughs> Someone had too many glasses at one. You know what? YOLO. <laughs> One last flight later and a heavy noggin on my shoulder for a good. You sound like a robot. Dude, my voice is cooked. I don't know what's going on. We're done for the day. I'll catch you guys in the morning. Who do we have here pulling up in a Jeep? Who's this guy? We're just out here. This is a first. I have yet to see a cyber truck and here we go. Thing is crazy looking. What do you guys think? You driving it? I'd probably drive it. To be honest. Oh, that is sick. I found my next vehicle. One I hit, two million subscribers. So we are here in Florida at Jonathan Harder's house, and uh, he actually has 
his garage here, which I'm gonna give you guys a little look on because he has something that I actually just got in the mail. Almost got it complete. I still have a couple things I wanna do, but we got the main thing in here, which are the max jacks right here. It slides out like that. And then this slides out even more to go underneath the car. How are you liking the max jacks lift though? Dude. Literally pretty game sick changer. game changer. You guys might know I'm currently in the process of redoing my whole garage I haven't showed any updates because I'm just gonna give you guys the banger video the final video when it's all said and done But just know we have been making crazy progress It's funny because we're here now checking out his garage and his lift and I just got the notification that my max jacks has been delivered today. So that is exciting. The really cool thing about the Max Jacks lift too, you can see it's obviously bolted into the concrete into some anchors, but right here are typically some wheels. And let's just say you're not really gonna be working on a project for a very long time. Zip, zip, pull all the bolts out of the anchors. Anchors will remain in the concrete. You'll have the wheels on, lean it back, and you can literally put it all to the side. They give you these handles too, so these handles go here. Wanted to give you guys a little uh, sneak peek of what's to come. I'm gonna obviously do my whole version of unboxing, getting installed. I have everything lined up as we speak. The garage is coming along really nicely though. I know I haven't showed it as I mentioned, it's just for one reason, because I just want to shock y'all. I have a lot going on. We have made crazy progress. It doesn't even look remotely the same anymore. <laughs> I break the lift. Dude, this is sick. I cannot wait to get mine installed. This is eight feet. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's edit that. Yeah. <laughs> ceiling is uh, eight feet, so it won't hit the ceiling with the Corvette. Oh, so sick, yeah. Even with low ceilings, it's kind of perfect. Nice. We're about to head to Beaver Bar for uh, Mustangs at Daytona. It's the first time I'm ever attending this. It's kind of like a Mustang week, but in Florida, so. Before we go, though, Jonathan's going to fire up the C7. He just installed the long tube headers on this thing, so uh, he's trying to convince me to do it to Romina's, so we so, may have to do it. Should we start it with the fuse off or in, so it'll start quiet? No, we want it loud. You want it loud? Yeah, we want it loud. That sounds good. Yeah, so it's not like stupid loud, but. Yeah, it sounds good. Comment down below if we should do long tubes to Romina's bed. I think it'd be, Pretty nasty little setup. We could do a flex to an E85 intake, all of that. Cam. Cam would be sick too. So we are heading to Daytona Beach right now. What is it, about an hour drive? I actually didn't tell a single soul I was gonna be here. So I'm trying to play a little incognito. Just wanted to come out, film, see what Mustangs at Daytona is about. And my screen is smudged. First Mustang we spot, Grabber Blue. Roush. That's yeah. actually clean. I've never seen that spec before. Yeah. Oh, that thing is so fire. The other yeah. green fox. Quite a few people, not many, nothing like Mustang Week, which is kind of expected because it is a weekday for one. Anyway, we're gonna check it out, see what's going on. <laughs> So we're gonna walk a lot, take a look at the cars and stuff. There's a couple rows. This is what I need right here. Pull Brandon over, put him in jail. This thing is so clean. Jeez. It's that mischievous purple color too. It looks black almost, but when that sun hits it, just like it is now, man, that color is sick. Little three valve action. It's the Fox we saw. Good old four eye. Yellow 350. Definitely love that color. And the grabber new edge. This thing looks sick. Gotta have a green boss. SSN, 5.0. I think it's a comp orange. SN mock here in the Oxford. I was actually gonna buy this exact color. Absolutely love the mocks in the Oxford. Looks like we got a pro charged S550. Water box. Oh, 
Oh, no, dude. That might be. up the video guys but i had to go and give a huge shout out to our friends over at oxitu for sending us out two products specifically for belucifer considering today's video is pretty much revolving around the discussion of belucifer potentially going to florida and staying there i figured now is a good time to showcase the oxitu products first product that oxitu sent out is their jump starter j503 this is going to be a portable jump starter to keep in your car just in case you find yourself in a situation like I did the other day where I went to drive this thing and it was completely dead. So a jump pack from Oxitu can definitely help you with that. It's super compact, fit in the trunk very easily, fit behind your back seat, and you'll always have power on hand. The other product Oxitu sent out is their mini portable tire compressor, the A301. These things are so clutch, especially if you're one of those that love to go to the track and you know you're always lugging around probably the stock air compressor, which is a pretty big box. These things, this thing can fit in the palm of my hand. It is so awesome. We're gonna bust these things open, give the little compressor a test here on Belucifer, and this is gonna get stashed in the trunk for that rainy day. So the Oxitu jump pack is gonna come with this really nice traveling case. And inside the case here, you can see we do have the jumpers up top here. Jump cables will just simply plug into your jumper box. And Oxitu has a really nice LED display you could probably see there. And this thing is not big whatsoever considering what it can do. It has the option to use regular USB alongside USB-C and obviously jumpstart your vehicle. As far as Oxitude's handheld portable tire compressor, this thing fits in the palm of my hand. It's very sleek and honestly can fit anywhere in the car. It's gonna come with the pump itself, which has a nice LED display on there and alongside the nozzle that will hook up to your valve stem. Some other things inside the box, nice little carrying case, some different attachments for if you wanna inflate a ball or anything else like that. I have the tire compressor currently hooked up and we're gonna go ahead and air this thing up. If you find yourself interested in checking out Oxitu's products, please head to the link in the description. Go get their portable tire compressor or their jump box. You may never know when you'll need them. Again, that's link in the description. Oxitu, appreciate you for sending this out. And guys, let's get back to the video.
Hey, tell us about the time you did a burnout and damn near stalled. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, you do. I don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> So we made it to Bucky's. Got quite the squad. Tons of cars. And this thing sounded nasty. Good little Paxton blower. Is that what that is? I was like, you know what? This is a sign I shouldn't do. I got Odin car. I want to take a few minutes and just discuss this whole idea I have about getting Blucifer to Florida. My goal wouldn't be to just bring this car to Florida and just drop it off somewhere outside, not being watched. Bad. No, like I've been looking around and I'm actually working with Jonathan right now because he's actually probably in this video going to go to a location that we found and FaceTime me to, you know, show me the unit and stuff. And I want to say the average about $80 a month. So in my head, that's really not too bad because I can stay with Jonathan and we have direct flights from Richmond to Orlando for like a hundred bucks. So it's kind of like a play that I, I might make happen, but I'm a little sad to think about it. Taking it to another state and just kind of leaving it 
is somewhat sad, but at the same time, it's like, I don't really have use for this car here. But how cool would that be to just hop on a plane? It's an hour flight, hop off the plane, go to my unit, grab Lucifer and have Lucifer in Florida, ropping around and, you know, doing stuff down there. So that's kind of like where I'm leaning towards. I think it would be a really cool experience and kind of just wanted to throw this video out there and see what you guys are thinking. Is this a good idea? Is it a bad idea? Or are you kind of meh about it as well? Obviously with every risk like this, there's some things that can go wrong. Um, I've been trying to like lay them out to see exactly what would be the worst thing that could happen. And if I'm paying my bills, then, you know, the, the storage unit won't get seized. Imagine one day Lucifer's like on the TV show where they buy storage units that have been abandoned and it's just sitting in there. I want to ask you guys for your opinion though, and a favor, let me know what you think could go wrong, what you think could go good about it. And if this idea is just like out of the question and if it's just like not cool you guys want lucifer to stay in virginia at the house but i'm just trying to think what i could do with this car and uh having it in florida would be kind of like almost living there in a sense that was kind of the main plan before we bought the house so we wanted to pick up and go to florida but obviously that didn't happen so this is kind of like the last resort to get out to florida pretty frequently and uh do some filming and this car there would be wicked yo what's good bro not much what's going on i think i was looking online and they were asking like 80 bucks i think a month and then um are you looking for a 10 by 20 i'm just looking for something that can fit a car so we'll just have to ask to yeah, see yeah, one of those i'll just ask them yeah like the smallest for what will fit a car yeah we'll take a look at the 10 by 20 and just kind of go from there that's a good amount of space yeah. so i want to put it like a toolbox and stuff in there keep some tools and stuff yeah detail supplies things like that so is he going to grab the keys yeah, um, he says he has a bunch of 10x20s, and it's cheaper than the 10 by 15 I don't even think your car would fit in a 10 by 15 If it would, it would be very, very tight. So. Yeah, so a 10 by 20 for 150 a month. It's not crazy. I don't want to show or anything, but is the place gated and stuff? Yeah, here, look. I'll show you. Just don't record, I guess. Yeah, oh no, we're losing them. Oh, yeah, that would definitely fit really nice. High ceilings. Damn, that's 20 feet deep. I don't know if the phone makes it deceiving, but does it feel like a car would fit in there pretty easily? Oh, uh, yeah. Just checked out the unit. Um, It's a little more than what I really want to spend. Uh, 150 a month, but it is a 10 by 20. It is kind of perfect for um what I would want it for, but it's just like, do we bring Lucifer or... Do we bring the Mach 1? I would say blue two valve, but that, that car's a liability, so I don't think that's an option. Anyway, let me know down below in the comments if you think that's a good idea, if that's something I should pursue, because I could definitely do it. It would be pretty cool. And the good thing is it's, it doesn't have to be permanent. It could just be like a test trial to see if it's worth it or not. Um, the only thing is, is that I'll have to do the 12 hour, 13 hour drive. That's the only thing. Appreciate y'all support, man. Thank y'all so much for tapping in. Um, sorry, I was MIA for a little bit. Um, Fourth of July that week, I was in Florida and stuff, and I took a little mental break. Um, did film a little bit, obviously. Just watch this video, but we will be back Wednesday, 8 p.m. Eastern time for another video. Thank y'all so much. Make sure you head to dvpsquad.shop. Sign up with the email listing. We have a new shirt dropping soon. Two new shirts. Two new shirts and one drop. One of them, I'm only getting 40 made because it is on some designer type stuff like it, the, the quality is crazy and i it was a little more expensive to get made but it's sick so make sure you're ready for that and it is storming its ass off you probably just heard the thunder all the cars are currently outside too because uh we were getting the garage all the lighting and all that taken care of and it's looking sick drop a like up in this video guys i appreciate you and i'll see you guys wednesday 8 p.m eastern time for another video deuces